All right, fellow scientists, our 10.30 meeting has begun. Sorry I'm late. Do you have any idea what time it is? Yeah, it's uh, 10.31 in three seconds. Well, where have you been? I don't walk all the way here from the library. Well, sit down, the meeting's about to begin. <clears throat> well, the topic for today is planning. Sorry, I had to walk all the way here from the library and make a quick stop at the vending machine. Well, sit down. We're talking about planet Pluto. Any more late scientists that would like to come? Okay, let's begin. What is the minimum distance from Earth? I believe the minimum distance from Earth of Pluto is 4.28 billion kilometers or 2.66 billion miles. And what is the tilt of axis? 123. What is the orbital eccentricity? Um, 17.16 degrees. I'm sorry, that is wrong. Can you answer this, Captain Barlard? No. Well, the correct answer is 0.2488. Next question, how many satellites does it have? Uh, three known <laughs> satellites. What is the planetary symbol in Greek or Roman mythology? Um, the planetary symbol is, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's about, like, it looks like a P, it's kind of like this. Do you know what its diameter is? 337,000 miles? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Actually, it's 1,485 miles. Or, 2,390 kilometers. Let's just, let's just get to the point here. What is this meeting about? It is about the revolutionary period around the sun, which happens to be 248 days. We're here to discuss Pluto. Pluto is not a planet anymore. <gasps> what? I told you, it's not a planet anymore. Please explain your theory. Pluto has become a dwarf planet. Dwarf planet are not real planets because they're smaller. They can't bring in all of the mass around it to form into one. It cannot clear all the mass around it. So therefore, it is not a planet anymore. Well, Pluto has been a planet for 76 years, and you expect on August 24, 2006, to it be removed? Yes. It was discovered in 1930 by some scientist that was German. I don't know his name. Neither do I. Pluto's been around for a long, long time. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Mary Weather. But it's massive. 12.5 times 1,021 kilograms. And the density is 1,750 kilograms slash M3. And the maximum distance from the sun is... <laughs> well, Fireboard has very many points to argue why Pluto should still be a planet. And that is 49.31 AUs. I still disagree with this dwarf planet business and this tribal music that keeps on mysteriously playing. It's Sharon calling Sharon Pluto Moon calling to say that Pluto should be a planet. And, and then, then it's Sharon be and then the dwarf planet moon and then its rotation period axis is about three point eight seven three eight seven days. And 
200, negative 233 to negative 223 degrees Celsius, or 387 degrees Fahrenheit to 360, negative 369, those are both negative. <laughs> I think we need a vote on this one. Who votes for Pluto to be a planet? All against? I'm sorry, Mother Mary Weather, but Pluto is not a planet. It will stay a dwarf planet. Who wants pie? Pluto, Pluto, you'll always be a planet to me. Way out there, you orbit our sun. You're so far away, you're trans-Neptunian. Discovered in 1930, for 76 years, a planetary body in 2006, they changed their minds, called you a dwarf, no longer one of nine. Pluto, Pluto, you'll always be a planet to me, the outer planets have lost a brother, but here on Earth, I've lost a lover. But then one day, the scientists came Change your title, things will never be the same Be yourself, don't be afraid Don't listen to what those astronomers say Be proud, you're frozen, massive ice and rock Rotate and revolve and keep your orbit in line <sighs> Wait, you know that even though Pluto was a dwarf planet it still exists in space. Yeah. And it exists as a real planet in your heart. In your heart. You're right! Don't listen to what those astronomers say. Be proud you frozen and massive ice and rock. Rotate and revolve and keep your orbit in No longer one of nine Pluto, Pluto You'll always be a planet to me Pluto, Pluto You'll always be a planet You'll always be a planet Said you'll always be